Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and today we are focusing on the topic in engineering thermodynamics and the name of the topic is thermocouple. Now, what is thermocouple? A thermocouple works on the principle of Seebeck effect. A thermocouple is made with two dissimilar metallic wires, we can say A and B, which forms the two junction that is P and Q. When these two junctions are at the different temperatures, a current will be flows and EMF will be generated and this induced EMF will be measured by using the micro voltmeter. That is a thermocouple is totally work on the basis of the invented scientist. The name of is Seebeck. And these points A, B, P, Q we can see in the diagram. The commonly used materials for thermocouples are copper, chrome and platinum. The copper is for constant modes in the thermocouple while chromium is aluminum in formation and platinum with radium in formation. In front of your screen you may see the line diagram and arrangement for thermocouple where the heat source is there in the left side and on the heating source there will be the measuring junction that is hot junction T1 tap. The voltmeter is adapted on the both side junctions at the top of the uh, circuit while as the reference junction T2 is ex exactly on opposite side of the hot junction. Now for connection of these the dissimilar metal wires are connected throughout the loops. As the source of heat continuously giving the heat to the uh, junction it will get heated and heat will be flow from point P to point Q through the path A to B and this is the effective temperature in which we can calculate the volt transformation with the voltmeter. As the wires are made up from different metals that's why the induced EMF can be measured with the voltmeter. Mercury in glass thermometer type. In this type, the change in length of mercury column inside the evacuated glass tube is the thermometric property. The length of the mercury column increases with increase in te temperature linearly, which are very easy to fabricate and use but the mercury can't be used under the 30 degree Celsius. It being freezing point of mercury and the similarly alcohol can't be used above 85 degree Celsius because its boiling point is alcohol. Now in front of your screen you may see the liquid mercury into the alcohol and the bulb is covered with the total liquid mercury. The scale which can be easily seen visually with naked eyes is provided on the top of the glass while the narrow tube is inserted which is directly connected to the liquid mercury alcohol scale. The whole cover is covered with the help of glass and the total arrangement we can say as the thermocouple. Now what is pyrometer? The pyrometer is the measures the temperature of an object by measuring the thermal radiation which is emitted by the object. The thermal radiation emitted is proportional to the temperature. That is, what are the radiations will be taken out from the particular body which are directly related to the, to the emission of radiation. Usually, they are used for measurement of extremely high temperatures. In industrial processes, 
as well as in many applications the temperatures even into the furnace side of the industry the temperatures are above 1500 degree celsius for that radiations are measured with sensors and scale electronics devices and that's why the pyrometer is one of them in general they are used for measuring of a optical system and detector system that is encoding and decoding system is there as we already say the various higher temperatures are required for pyrometers and for that no man contact will be required the pyrometers are called non contact types thermocouples and the thermodynamic temperature scales are you may see on your screen that is the temperature on the first column in fahrenheit starting from 4 minus 460 fahrenheit 32 fahrenheit 68 fahrenheit to 212 fahrenheit and ranking and celsius conversion with the second one another point are given that is in celsius to minus 270 degree celsius 0 degree celsius 20 degree and 100 degree celsius at that point the level and temperatures of water are given that is on absolute zero temperature water freezing temperature room temperature and boiling temperature of water are shown into the diagram now ideal gas temperature scale it is the empirical scale thus developed based on the constant volume gas thermometer and it is commonly referred as ideal gas temperature scale the graphical representation of for the particular stage is shown in figure this is all about the thermocouple and various thermometer use we will see another topic in next video thank you friends thank you very much